The next storm we're watching is Tropical Storm Dora. This formed just uh, within the last few hours here. We're watching this broad area of low pressure finally came out and induced, induced this area of low pressure at the surface. Winds now 40 miles an hour, and if you look at the satellite, you see the same kind of thing happening, that convection wrapping around and getting into that center. So here, too, the storm is likely to strengthen. It's got a little bit of shear to deal with next couple of days, but also very warm water, and we think after it gets out of that, it could actually get up to a Category 2 or a Category 3. Should stay well to the south of the coastline, but there could still be very high surf as well as very heavy rain and gusty wind into, say, Zewatanao or into a Manzanillo. Right. Let's take a look at an MRI of Dora, which is now a 135-mile-per-hour hurricane in the Pacific. And this is it going back in time. This is kind of the end of the loop. So here's the beginning of it. You can see around the center, not a lot of organization with that eye wall, but look at how this red, yellow, and orange just kind of wraps around during the day today. And this thing is about as symmetric as they come. Let's take a look at it and talk about uh, really what has become a very active tropical basin. Uh, we've had four hurricanes now in the Pacific and three tropical storms. Newly formed today, Tropical Storm Sydney. The good news is none of these are going to impact land in the near future, if at all. So that is great news. Some of the new computer models taking Dora farther and farther away west of Baja. Dora is the show of the day. This thing started off the day as a Category 1. Now it's a Category 4 monster at 135 miles an hour, and it's still intensifying. Look at this visible imagery. This is in rapid scan, so these pictures are every five minutes, but you could not ask for a more symmetric center. As a matter of fact, what do I mean by that? I'll come over here and draw on this. Uh, if you draw outside the ring here, this is the CDO of the storm, and then you draw the actual center. Look at this, almost equidistant on each side. Classic case. There's no reason to believe the storm's not breathing as well either. So this could become uh, even stronger, believe it or not, from what we see here on the visible satellite imagery. The good news is it is not forecast to impact land right now. Just a few high clouds on your favorite Mexican West Coast beach. Tropical Storm Door still holding on strong to Tropical Storm Strength. Just barely, though. Maximum winds at 40 miles per hour. Moving to continuing its track to the northwest at about 9 miles per hour. You can see just a little cluster, a little flare up there of some of the thunderstorms. What's happening is it's running through uh, colder water. It's kind of cutting off its fuel supply. So we're not expecting much more out of door over the next few hours. In fact, by later tonight towards tomorrow, likely a remnant low. So this may very well be the very last you'll hear about Dora. And we what's going on in the Pacific Northwest, which is some very cool weather. Dip in the jet stream here and look at these temperatures. Wouldn't this be beautiful if we could just take a piece of this, break it off, and move it to the east? Looks like it's not going to happen, at least not in the immediate future. We'll cool down on the east, though, by the weekend a little bit. 74 in Missoula Friday, 83.